Hello there, my fellow evil captains who enjoy ridiculous firepower, and welcome. Welcome, I think, to a video that a lot of you were expecting for some time. That's right, boys and girls, today we will be talking about the big guns, aka Chaos Battleships. And as far as this episode goes, we are going to cover two of them. The Desolator class and the Despoiler class. I am your usual host, the Grim Dark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about them, shall we? The Desolator class capital ship is an ancient design of Imperial battleship that dates back to the very founding of the Imperium in the 30th millennium. It utilizes technology long lost to the Adeptus Mechanicus in the 41st millennium. None of these formidable vessels now remain in Imperial service, and they all now serve the forces of Chaos. Even though none now remain in any Segmentum fleet, it is known that at least five Desolators defected from the Imperial Navy between the 31st and the 34th millennia. Of these, the Eternity of Pain, renamed by its treacherous captain, is perhaps the most infamous. In combat, the Desolator is a long-ranged fire support craft, carrying torpedoes, a long-range weapons battery turret, and equally long-range broadside lances. It has enough speed to keep the enemy at arm's length, while pounding at them with impunity. And its torpedoes are actually quite effective in scattering any warships that get too close. However, it lacks short-range firepower and must be accompanied by at least two escorts in case something does make it through the Desolator's fire. The original design of the Desolator is rumored to have served as the basis for the Apocalypse class, her large armament of long-range lances mirroring her loyal counterpart, and the small numbers of the ships being constructed possibly being prototypes for the technology used on the Apocalypse. However, none of this is known for certain, as neither warships are well understood by the Mechanicus, and records have long been lost. Its lethal long-range armament and speed make the Desolator a true menace for any Imperial fleet, being deadly to a ship of any size, kiting her battleship rivals with her speed as her lances rip through their thick hides and tearing apart anything smaller in mere seconds under a barrage of torpedoes, lance bolts, and plasma projectiles. The Desolators proved instrumental to the Chaos forces during the Black Crusades, able to cause crippling damage to the imposing and deadly Imperial battleships, as well as provide an excellent platform for orbital bombardment of key Imperial worlds. The large number of lances are capable of accurate surgical strikes to annihilate Imperial cities or crippling planets outright with a full power broadside. This class also served as heavy fire support throughout the wars, destroying hard targets and stitching Imperial formations with a barrage of lance strikes. This, in turn, allowed the Chaos Cruisers a chance to unleash their own lethal firepower without fear of retaliation. A couple of infamous Desolators include The Eternity of Pain This vessel is arguably the most infamous Desolator-class battleship to have turned from the Emperor's light. At least seven Imperial battleships are known to have fallen to its immensely powerful lances and long-range gun decks since it turned Renegade in 453 of M33. Many other vessels are also no more, due to this potent behemoth of the stars. The Torment Older even than the Eternity of Pain, the Torment was captured by renegade pirates during the Spartan War, after its engines were destroyed and it drifted helplessly into a mined asteroid field. 78 standard years after its capture, the Torment was instrumental in obliterating the orbital defenses of Gori-6, prior to that planet's invasion by the Eldar. The Torment has been spotted as far away as the Ultima Segmentum, and even participated in an attack on an Imperial convoy in the Joby Sector in the northern rim of the galaxy. The statistics for this class include Approximately 8 kilometers long, 2.9 kilometers a beam at the wings, 
a crew of 201,000, a maximum sustainable acceleration of 2.2 gravities, defenses include ferromite alloy plating and eight battleship class void shields, the standard main armament is 24 Hector heavy plasma macro cannons, six lance batteries, one lance turret, and six prow torpedo launchers. The secondary armament includes turbo lasers, missile banks, and autocannons. Auxiliary craft includes four Arvus lighters. The Despoiler class battleship. This ship has a long and turbulent history with the Imperium. The Despoiler class was the ship created by the Young School admirals of Battlefleet Baca during the Garriox incident. This was following a millennia-long dispute of all big gun battleship designs versus attack carriers for future Imperial shipbuilding revolving around battleships. During this Imperial Civil War, some 14 despoilers and their fleets faced off against 15 Emperor-class vessels and their own fleets. The despoiler class proved to have much superior speed and attack range with its batteries and a mix of heavy and standard lances, but only barely matched the carrier capacity of the Emperor and was far more fragile. Although two Emperor-class vessels were destroyed and another three crippled, the Despoiler proved unable to match the Emperor as a battleship and was no better as a carrier. Only three Despoilers survived this conflict, as the fearsome firepower of heavy macro cannons tore them to pieces. All three of the surviving battleships and their architects would turn to chaos. Since then, the Despoiler has become even faster, and has a far more deadly arsenal of lances and attack craft. The despoiler is armed with a pair of heavy lances, both capable of firing directly forward or over the broadsides of the ship, and a center-mounted battery of dorsal lances for fending off escorts and finishing crippled opponents. She also has weapon batteries on each broadside of the ship, and a number of weapon batteries flanking and protecting the large prow-mounted launch bay. Another two launch bays are found on the broadsides of the ship directly behind the prow section. This fearsome array of weaponry makes her a deadly opponent, especially at long range, where her lances, long range weapon batteries and strike craft can overwhelm an opponent before they are even given a chance to close in and return fire. Her high speed makes this range advantage all the more crushing, as she is difficult to catch with anything bigger than a cruiser, but anything smaller than a battleship is quickly overwhelmed by the catastrophic damage the despoiler can dish out. The despoiler would see action in Chaos Service from M39 onwards, destroying entire cruiser flotillas and convoys before word of the attack could even reach a retaliation fleet. The next major engagement it would serve in would be the Gothic War of M41. The remaining three original battleships and their younger Chaos-born sisters served as a spearhead for the Chaos Offensive, being the head of the lethal dagger aimed at the heart of the Imperium. They proved deadly against any opponent, the Despoiler getting a rematch with its nemesis, the Emperor class, and proving to be now a far deadlier opponent to the Lordly Vessel. This resulted in a number of Emperor battleships being reduced to drifting hulks before the advance of Chaos during that war. Funnily enough, there is a bit of a canon conflict regarding the Despoiler. An older Battlefleet Gothic rulebook says that the Despoiler was not developed until the mid-36th millennium. However, there are other sources which state that the Despoiler may be a far older design than originally portrayed. Another source states that Primarch Rogel Dorn of the Imperial Fists was killed aboard the Sword of Sacrilege, which was a Despoiler-class battleship. But Dorn supposedly died a long time before the 36th millennium. One explanation for all this could be that when the Despoiler class was being developed in the mid-36th millennium, its template might have been taken from an older design, which was also known as the Despoiler. I shall let you decide. 
A few infamous vessels of this class include the Merciless Death. The first despoiler class battleship to defect to chaos, the Merciless Death built an infamous reputation as a menace to the Imperium over several millennia. It was destroyed during the Pandarax campaign during the fourth battle of the Sunward Gap by a combined task force of Dark Angels, Grey Knights, and the Imperial Navy. Anarchy's Heart The Anarchy's Heart was the personal battleship of the Chaos Lord Arcos the Faithless and his renegade Chaos Space Marine warband, the Faithless. Arcos utilized his capital ship to launch raids from the Eye of Terror in the millennia following the end of the Horus Heresy. This vessel was destroyed near the conclusion of the infamous Siege of Rax by the Angels of Absolution Chapter's battle barge Liberatori Delictum and the strike cruiser Repentant. Damnation's Fury The Damnation's Fury turned traitor in the 39th millennium shortly after the disappearance of the Merciless Death, firing on a convoy it was supposed to be protecting. It is notable for its large prow lance batteries having been replaced by a large array of torpedo tubes. The Fortress of Agony Defecting to chaos under similar circumstances as the turning of the Damnation's Fury, ultimately meaning that all three of the despoilers had fallen to chaos, leading the Imperial Navy to believe that these battleships had been cursed from the moment of their construction. The statistics for this class include 8.3 kilometers in length, 3.1 kilometers a beam at the wings, a crew of 242,000, a maximum sustainable acceleration of 1.8 gravities, Defenses consisting of ferromite alloy armor plating and eight battleship class void shields. Its standard main armament is 40 Hector heavy plasma macro cannons, two lance turrets, two heavy lance turrets, and three hangar decks. Its standard secondary armament includes turbo lasers, missile banks, and auto cannons. Its auxiliary craft supplement includes four Arvus Lighters, 200 Swift Death Fighters, 288 Hell Talons, 108 Doomfire Bombers, and 120 Dreadclaw Assault Pods. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about Chaos Battleships for today. I know there's a couple of other things in this department, like the Planet Killer of Abaddon the Despoiler, and the Abyss-class battleships from the Horus Heresy, but I will try to get to them as well in the future. Which one of today's ships did you find more interesting? Let me know and discuss in the comments below. Was this video enjoyable or informative? In that case, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing for more content. I thank you kindly for watching, and I wish you an amazing day. The Emperor Protects.